Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to create and secure your KuCoin account. I'm going to show you everything on my computer so you can easily follow along and set this up for yourself. So let's hop onto my computer and get started. All right, so we're going to start from complete scratch, which means that we're going to set up a completely new KuCoin account. So to get your account, all you need to do is go to qcoin.com or you can just click on the first link down below in the video description and that will take you directly to this uh, exchange. Now, once you're here, all you need to do is go to the top right corner and click on sign up right here and that will take you directly to the sign up page. Now, like I've said, all you need to have to sign up for a new account is either a phone or an email address. So I'm gonna use my email address to sign up for a new account. So I'm gonna switch to email right here. And then I'm just gonna type in one of my email addresses to sign up for a new account. I'm just gonna paste it in this field. And then we have to confirm that we actually have access to this inbox. So we're gonna click on send code right here. And then we also have to confirm we're not a robot. So this is always kind of annoying, but you're just gonna have to do this. Click on verify. And then they were gonna send me an email to this inbox that I have right here. So I'm just gonna quickly check my email inbox right here, maybe refresh this site. And there we go, we have an email from Qcoin. And we're just gonna take this code right here, it's gonna copy this, and we're gonna paste it in this field right here as a verification code. Now the next step is to set a password for your new Qcoin account. Obviously you want to have a strong password, so make sure you use um, letters, um, special characters and also numbers. I'm just going to type in um, a password right now. And then you also see this referral code option right here. Uh, if you want to, you can use my personal referral code. Now to be completely honest with you, I don't know what this does. Um, I think they're kind of doing some changes to their bonus program. Um, so currently I can't tell you if this gives you some kind of bonus in cryptocurrency or maybe a fee discount, but it definitely can't hurt to put this code in right here. Uh, if you have used my, my link down below in the description, it will probably already have inserted this code um, into this page uh, on your signup page. So um, feel free to use this code. Maybe depending on when you watch this video, you're gonna get some kind of bonus. Then you wanna make sure you have this tick right here, agree to terms of use, and then click on sign up on the bottom. And that will take us into our Qcoin account. Now they already want to guide us through either buying cryptocurrency or depositing crypto on their platform. Now I'm gonna walk you through everything in this video so you can just um, close this uh, out here on the top right, this little X sign, and that will take us into our Qcoin account. All right, so the first thing that we always wanna do when we create a new account on an exchange is to maximize the security so that we can prevent getting our account stolen and actually losing our funds on the exchange. So to do that, we go to the top right here and go to um, account security right here. And then the first thing we wanna do is set up two-factor authentication, which means that if you wanna access your account, you not only have to enter your password, you, only, you also have to enter a so-called one-time password using either your phone or uh, some kind of application like Google Authenticator. Now, I would highly recommend to not use a text message as a two-factor authentication method because um, people do something called SIM swapping and then they can get access to your text messages and then when they have access to your text messages and your password, they can easily get access to your account. So what I would recommend is to get an app like Google Authenticator or Authy and then set up two-factor uh, authentication using either one of these applications. I personally use Google Authenticator, so I'm gonna use the Google verification method that you see right here. So this is the first thing that we're gonna set up. We're gonna just go to um, set right here. And then we have to first confirm again uh, with our email address that we wanna set this up. So we're gonna go get back to my email, go to my inbox, or actually I have to click on send code right here first and then I should get the email in my inbox. So let's reload this page. And there we go, we have another email from Qcoin. So again, we have to just copy this code, right click and copy. And then we have to paste it in this field right here, paste. And now we see this QR code right here. 
Now, what you have to do now is if you don't already have the application, Google Authenticator, Authy, or some kind of other authenticator application, go to your Google Play Store or App Store and download the application. And then you're gonna have the possibility to scan this QR code that you see right here using your phone uh, camera. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna click on scan a QR code. I'm gonna hold it over to uh, my screen and then it will generate a new one-time password on the application they will change every 60 seconds. So um, this is gonna be a one-time password. And to confirm that we wanna set this up, I'm just gonna confirm it using the one-time password code that is currently generated. So I'm gonna type it in here and then I'm gonna click on activate. And that should now activate um, Google verification. So we have now a two-factor authentication, which means that we don't not only have to enter our password, but also this one-time password when we wanna get access to our Qcoin account. Now, the second thing we wanna do is also set a trading password. This is something you have to do if you wanna trade on this exchange. So every time you wanna trade on Qcoin, you're gonna to have to type in this password. So again, the same thing, we're just gonna click on set right here and then you can, um, now we have to confirm again using our two-factor authentication. So I'm just gonna type in the code that I have on my Google Authenticator application. And now we can quickly read this. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we need this to do transactions, withdrawals, and API creation. Uh, okay, I understand. And now we have to type in a six-digit code. So I'm just gonna type in one of my, just a code. And make sure you actually remember this code or you just note it down somewhere because you're gonna need it to, um, to do trades and also to withdraw your funds later on. So then click on confirm. And just like that, we have set our trading password. So these are the two main things that you have to do here. And one more thing that you can do in order to prevent um, phishing um, phishing attacks is to use email safety phrase, login safety phrase, and withdrawal safety phrase. What that means is that every time you kind of interact with Qcoin, then you're gonna see your specific phrase. So for example, when you get an email from Qcoin, um, let's just uh, set this email safety phrase right here, click on set, and just click on set here. And now we can say something like, this is the official Qcoin coin uh, website, something like that, or just like a, a, a some kind of phrase that only you know, um, so that you know when you get an email, you will, al you will always see this specific phrase right here, um, so that you know that this is, this is actually an official email and not some kind of email from some kind of spammer that just wants to get your account information and steal your cryptocurrency. So I'm just gonna set this right here and then whenever I get an email from Qcoin, I will gonna see this phrase and I know this email is actually from the official Qcoin website. So, um, so that's fine. Let's go back to the security settings. Now you can also set a login safety phrase so you can know that you're actually on the official Qcoin website and also a withdrawal safety phrase right here. It's just, it works the same way as the email safety phrase. So I'm just gonna skip it for this tutorial to save some time right here. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate if you'd click that thumbs up button down below. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.